Hello, this is Prelight Media. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make an augmented reality app in Unity with very little or no coding at all. So you don't have to be super intelligent to do this, but you need to have a lot of patience. So that said, oh, please excuse my cold. I have a bit of a bunged up nose. So if I start choking, please excuse me. So let's get started. Um, first, open up Unity Hub. You need to make sure your first things first, you need to make sure whichever install you're using um, has the modules added. So you're going to need to check Android build support, Android, Android SDK and NDK tools. I'm going to be using Android for this because uh, it's, a, it's, it's pretty much the same procedure as on iOS. But um, since I'm using a PC now, it just makes more sense. Um, OK, so. Yeah, if these are installed, it might take some time to download if they're not if they're not there. But yeah, be prepared for lots of waiting with Unity, especially on projects like this. Okay, so to begin, let's start a new project. Name it something like whatever you want to tutorial. And create it needs to be a three D project. So it'll take a minute to import. Okay, first thing you need to do is go to File, Build Settings, click Android, switch platform. Best to do this soon because if you do it down the line, um, it has to re-import all the assets you've, that, you, that you're using. So yeah, best to save time and do it now. Next, you need to go to Player Settings. Um, make sure you have XR Settings here at the bottom and go to Vephoria Augmented Reality Supported. Make sure that's checked. It's going to bring up a warning saying um, it doesn't like the Vulkan Graphics API. So you need to go there, that's in other settings, and click Vulkan and the Graphics APIs and delete. Um, there's a few other things you need to do while we're here in other settings. Um, it really wants you to create your own company name for some reason. I mean, this is for distribution purposes, but we're not going to need it. Um, for this tutorial but this is so it knows something i'm not sure really so like i said you don't need to be super intelligent okay this is the main part you need to go to your package name and call that something okay anything you want best to keep it lowercase um while we're here you want to uncheck multi-threaded rendering you see I've done that just to make sure uh, minimum API level minimum API for uh, augmented reality on Android is 24 so that's no good if you're using Android Android 7 um, anything else I need to do here I think that's everything for now I'll come back if I need to okay next yeah we need to create a VR well AR AR camera so let's close that close that and create where the Vuforia engine AR camera. It allows you if you want to import these assets and yes, if you want it to work. Okay, here's your AR camera. Next thing you need to do is to create an image. So yeah, go to Vuforia engine, create an image. And you can import the default databases. I'm not going to do that this time because it just takes a bit of time to import them. But that's just some examples that you can you can test out. Um, this does not want to be paired to, to your AR camera. This needs to be independent in the scene. Otherwise, it will follow the camera, and uh, that's not what you want. Let's zoom in here. Click on that. Press F to frame it. Well, it doesn't always work, so just zoom in. See, there's nothing there for now. Um, so there are two things we need to do now. Uh, we're going outside of Unity now. Uh, you need to go to your Ruforia developer console or portal, sorry. Um, if you don't have an account here, you need to yeah, log out there and log back in so you can see. Um, yeah, you either need to create an account here or log in if you've got one already. So here that's my one login 
Um, and there are two things you need to do here, like I just said. Um, first, you need a license. This is a free license that you can use for, um, you know, for any kind of practice, non-profitable project. That's my cat in the background. Back in the game. Okay, so in the developer portal, there are two things you need to do. One is to create a license, which will actually let the augmented camera work. So let's go get development key. Give it a name, AR Cute, or something like that. One. Um, click the box, and confirm. This is a free key. Um, you can use it as much as you want, as far as I know. I've not read all the all the legal fine print, but um, the main setback is that you have the Vuforia logo on your on on whichever app you're using it for. So, you know, for practice like this, that's fine. Um, most people don't mind. I don't really mind. Other than that, it costs about $500 uh, for a subscription. So you need to make sure you're making a profit before you really want to invest in that. Right. So find the license that you've just created. And click on here. That'll copy it automatically. And then go to your... What was it again? Yeah, AR camera. Open Vuforia engine configuration. Do that again just so you can see. And then paste your uh, license there, and that's it. That will enable your VR camera, your AR camera. Okay. Right, what else? Right, yeah, so while we're in the developer portal, we need to also go to target manager and add a database. This will be the image that you're going to be using. So, so let's call this um, AR Tute one just so we're on the same bit of consistency. Create that and then find that. I usually click date modified. That'll bring up the most recent one. I do that all the time. It's a nice little tip. Um, AR Tute one and then yeah, click on there, go to add target. I'm going to use um, an Oyster card. I know people don't tend to use these as much in London anymore, but it's one that I happen to have in my pocket. Um, an image that a lot of people have access to, you know, from my time living in London. So check this out, Oyster card. Uh, it needs to be a JPEG or a PNG and make sure it's not too big, uh, two megabyte max. Uh, width is about eight centimeters. So this is in meters, so you need to put it to 0 0.8. This will define the scale of the content that you're using. And then just call it something here, whatever you want. We still want, just call it. Uh, click add. This can take some time to process, but this has done it automatically because I've done it before. Um, if you want to see how it works, you can click on the, uh, I'll try again. Click on the target there, and if you go on show features, these are the points that the AR camera is going to be tracking when you're using it. So it's, sim it's quite similar to uh, visual effects um, camera tracking concepts, if you're familiar with those. Um, but basically it will find points of really high contrast and it will create an anchor point for each of those, which will be pretty much define where your content is going to be in 3D space. So. That's the only technical, well, super technical thing, but you don't really need to do anything. It does it automatically. So that's one of the benefits of using augmented, uh, of using Vuforia over developing um, from scratch, which probably sounds like a complete brain ache that I would rather not deal with. Thank you very much. Okay, so go back to AR Tute. Oyster One. So that's our target, download database using for Unity Editor, so download there. And then if you just click on there, that will import it automatically into Unity, and then just import. Um, if we go to Image Target in the scene, and then if you go click here, Database, then your, uh, your image database should be there. So when you zoom in now, you can see it, there's the Oyster card. So that's what it's going to be looking for. That's what the, the AR camera is going to be searching for in this case. 
So, I suppose now we can get to some more creative sort of fun bits. Now all the boring stuff's out of the way, or well, most of it anyway. Um, yeah, so let's import some assets. Um, I'm gonna be give yeah I'm gonna give this away for free. It's it's for sale on my um Sketchfab account and on my CG Trader and everything. But for the purposes of this tutorial and because you've been so kind to watch the whole thing, I'm gonna give it for free. And I'll put a link in the description. All right, it's this one low poly six that I'm using. Some textures. I believe it was that one, or was it that one? Or was it? Let's just use those. All right, so importing these textures here. Easy peasy, just drag and drop. And a bit more waiting. Okay, so hopefully those, yeah, these are important now, so. If you're familiar with Unity, uh, it saves a bit of time to extract the material. And now that, uh, yeah, let's import that. So this needs to be parented to the image target. That's what's going to be tracking. Uh, go to orthographic mode, you can make sure it's nice and flat. So it's sort of on top, unless you want it to be floating, which you can do that too. It's up to you. Um, let's just switch this around so that'll will be proportional to the front of the card and make it a bit bigger this is a Casio SK5 keyboard from the 1980s classic so as you can see it has all these elements it's a low poly model so it, it's uh, refined pretty much optimized for game engines um, augmented reality virtual reality let's go here and put these Textures make it look nice. Oh, we need to go to standard. If we want to use the roughness map, which we do, go to standard Autodesk Interactive. This might not be installed on previous versions of Unity, but if not, you know, you can still get a decent result. Um, roughness normal, make sure it normal is marked as a normal map, obviously. Fix that metallic. All right, looking at it now. All right, anyway, there you go, there's your content. Um, right, I believe that's everything you need. Big thing you have to do now, go to build settings, add open scenes. Make sure you save your scene first, actually, that would help. So call it something like a R. Save. And add that instead. Delete that. Okay. I think that's everything on my list that I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's everything. So let's go to build. Uh, it's going to be the name of the app. So it can take about five, five to ten minutes, depending on your computer. Uh, but in this case, I think it should be done pretty quickly. Okay. Now, don't be surprised if you get some errors here. Um, there can be one of many things that can go wrong here. Uh, the best place to look for this kind of thing is the uh, Vuforia community forum. So if you have a problem with um, Vuforia not doing what normal apps do or what you want it to do, just go to the forum. You'll probably find a lot of people with similar mistakes and they're usually pretty helpful. So yeah. It's usually a case of trial and error. Keep searching until you find a, a solution. Um, unless you're a super maths genius, in which case you could probably write it all yourself. So, 
Yeah. So that's built, no errors. That's you know, quite rare for that to happen, but I've made sure I've gone meticulously over all of these. So you really need to make sure you follow all these, um, you know, all these steps just to make sure um, it does work. And let's have a look. What do we have? So there's like two things you need to do to get it working on your phone. Um, first thing is enable developer mode. To do this, you need to go to settings on the settings app. Um, scroll to the bottom and find um, about phone. Scroll to the bottom of that and tap the build number seven times. Very technical. Um, after you've done that, it should tell you that you're a developer. Either way, that's the first part you need to do um, to get the app to work on your phone. Part two, this is um, copy the APK from your build folder into the APK folder in your phone. And then once that's in there, open up your phone, find the file. Uh, it will be in the file manager or something like that. And um, tap that APK and that will install it and then you'll be able to run it directly from your phone. Okay, hopefully this works. Um, I hope you enjoy the free keyboard as well. Um, have fun with that. There's lots of other 3D models on my Sketchfab page, uh, on CG Trader, I'll put links to those as well. And uh, yeah, have fun. Bye.